Hey everybody, another video today. Oh, sorry about the cat. Um, yeah, uh, she, I think she's not very happy because we're having cuddles. And then I got up because I, I have to make this video. Stop doing that, sweetheart. <laughs> so she's not the camera. Right, okay. So this is going to be a video about Around Squares MK Ultras. And these are the Mini Sigmas in Titanium. Um, so apologies about the lighting, uh, this is the evening, I didn't have time to do it in the daytime. I was also going to put off the video for another time, um, but um, I need to restring them to size them to my tiny hands and wrists. And uh, I actually was quite impressed with how they were just set up as is as well, and I just wanted to showcase that before I change everything. Oh, cat hairs. Sorry. Um, anyway, I'm going to have to sort this cat out and then I think I'm going to have to come back. <laughs> anyway, apologies. So uh, yeah, this arrived today unexpectedly um, and also very early in the morning, uh, which doesn't normally happen. I usually get them late morning to mid-afternoon. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting it three days from Canada to UK, so that's the second time that's happened now. Um, and uh, I've had a rough couple of days, so uh, these were a very, very welcome sight this morning. Um, also, I, I do apologise about the state of my hands. Um, we're going into winter now in the UK, and the temperature has dropped drastically. Like, it's gotten really bitterly cold very quickly, um, and uh, I always suffer with my hands in winter, and uh, yeah... Uh, my job doesn't make that any easier because my job's quite tough on my hands as well. So I do apologise about that. Um, but anyway, um, I was going to restring these, but I thought uh, and you know make the make the video at a later date. But um, I actually was so impressed with how how they're set up as is that I wanted to show them off before I uh, take them apart and restring. So anyway, let's get into it. So these are titanium. So it comes with a nice box um, and a carry pouch, like I haven't had this colour mock-up before, which is nice. And these, the big ones are always like really, really soft, really nice. Um, I like the fact that you basically get a pouch with everything you buy. And here they are, you also get some spare Kevlar cord. Now I've never been a fan of the Kevlar cord in the past. Um, I've always found it very stiff, um, not very nice texture for Beglary personally, other people love it and apparently it does wear in but I've just never got on with it for Beglary. Um, but for the MK Ultras I've actually found it to be rather nice. Um, like I didn't buy any more spare Kevlar cord when I bought this because I thought oh, I'm not going to like it. Um, I've actually got some black cotton cord that I get from a supplier here in the UK that do really nice soft cotton cord. Um, they do it in a kind of um, very bright white as well so I got some 2mm in white and I've got basically got some more of their 4mm but I'll, I'll put a link in the description if you're in the UK. Great supplier. Um, anyway um, yeah, I'm actually uh, kind of a little bit disappointed I didn't buy more Kevlar cord. I have got the spare, but it's always good to have extra in reserve, um, especially as Kevlar of cord is not so common, but um, never mind, next order I'll, I'll probably uh, plonk some in the cart, probably with some silk cord as well, um, to give that a try. So yeah, um, I've been wanting these for a long time. Um, they've been out of stock. Um, when they were in stock, I couldn't afford it. Um, they are rather expensive. They are $190 for the short form titanium set. You can get them in uh, stainless steel, I think copper, brass as well. Um, I think at least a stainless steel is $120, so it's a little bit cheaper, but it's going to be significantly heavier. Um, and I definitely wanted titanium. Um, so. I thought, well, I'll save some money, um, and then Sling Slam was coming up, and I thought, well, I'm not really good with any of these skill toys yet, but um, I'll participate in Sling Slam, um, because they give a very generous 25% code 
um, off in yeah off your purchase so uh, if you participate so uh, they did that of course they still weren't in stock but I think the code is valid still at the moment so um, I was just waiting basically um, because I thought well if I get the 25% off um, I did my sing sang video with Chucky but it doesn't matter you can spend it you can use that code on anything I think on their website um, yeah but they weren't coming in stock and recently with the luck sacks that they put out I was seeing these sets in people's luck sacks and I was like well I thought they were out of stock um, so I actually just chanced an email I just said look have you got any spare sets you know sort of laying around or, or have you got any sort of ideas for a restock time and they got back to me within 48 hours and they were like oh uh, we've just put some up, we've just restocked them. So it was awesome, I was like, I was on it straight away, used my code. Um, yeah, fantastic. So, super, super pleased. And then they arrived within three days, which was just so, so awesome, because I've been really excited for this set. So, I've never bought any MK Ultras before. So, MK Ultra, um, obviously we all know the uh, very... <laughs> um, you know, controversial and uh, uh, <laughs> horrible experiments that uh, MK Ultras were, or the MK Ultra probably was. This has nothing to do with that. It's just um, it's their own branding. So uh, the M is for Mala beads. So they're they're like bracelets, beaded bracelets. And then the K is for Komboloi, which are the Greek, um, basically uh, worry beads. So I've got some here. So these are from Greece. Um, and yeah, so they're more similar to Comboloy. Um and I think from the website they're also sort of based on, is it Te Tesby? Um, I'm, I don't think I'm pronouncing that very well, but that's similar to Comboloy, so um, yeah, they're, they're more similar to Comboloy basically, but it, the MK Ultra brand is theirs, I guess, or the name is theirs. So um i kind of put off buying these for a long time because a lot of them are out of my price range i think they're some of the most expensive things that you can get from around square and uh i think a lot of people would um you know criticize that but actually getting this set i've kind of realized why so it's not just the material you know like titanium is expensive um it's not just the fact that it's a lot of beads it's not just that, um, because it is a lot of beads. But one thing I realised was it's actually the machining of each individual bead um, and the finish and the care that goes into making them perfect, basically. And what I mean by this is something that I experienced pretty much straight away was just doing this, which tend to be called raindrops. So it's quite therapeutic. Quite nice to fidget with so the beads just just drop really nicely um, down the cord without snagging um, and there's no fraying on the cord so far um, I, mean, I only got them today but I have been kind of using them all day so by comparison um, I have a supplier I buy um, stainless steel beads uh, from for to make my chalky sets that I sell on my store, but um, I I made some kind of my own comboloi um, quite a while ago. Uh, made quite a few different sets. So these are eight millimeter stainless steel beads. These are six, and you'll notice. So this is on this is on paracord. So this is two millimeter paracord. Um, they snag like a lot so these are very high quality beads so um, I went through a lot of suppliers before I settled on this one because uh, the edges of the bores are chamfered but I think inside they are catching and it just kind of ruins that effect so I never really got the whole kind of MK Ultra or Comboloy kind of thing really 
uh, especially with metal ones anyway so you know I've barely played with these I've just sort of used them like Chucky or Beglary more than anything else um, so these I've used less they haven't frayed as much but I mean that one's a little bit better but they're just yeah I just never really sort of really like them that much that's not too bad the six millimeter but my point is the I mean these have a bigger bore so I will say both of these have three millimeter bores these are only 3.5 millimeter bores so only a tiny little bit bigger but the machining on the inside of the hole and the curvature around the hole as well is just absolutely perfect and really I think all the care that has gone into that um, and I know the team at Around Square inspect everything and make sure things are fit to sell and up to their standards before they sell stuff um, yeah I can appreciate the cost um, I don't know about the other sets because obviously this is the only set I've got might be the only set I have I don't know because they're just really quite expensive but I can see why like these are beautiful I love them um, as a wearable as well they're quite nice I'm gonna have to make this smaller because my wrist is small um, but obviously you can cinch it up with the boss speed I don't want to move that at the moment because I've kind of been trying to test out what length I want so they give you plenty to play with so you've just got some uh, I think they're double overhand knots at the end that you can use but basically um, I think the standard uh, kind of sizing in terms of how much slack you have is basically uh, four fingers and I do have a comboloid book I should have brought it up with up here with me but um, I haven't because I'm an idiot but uh, it does say in that book as well it's, it's usually about you know your, your four four fingers there the width which is kind of what I've set it at the moment but some people like three um, so experiment I guess um, so I think a lot of um, skills from Big Larry carry over um, and from Ch Chucky as well I think I think between the three there are similarities there that you can transfer some skills um, I haven't really learned anything to be honest um, I've been sitting down sort of just figuring out what kind of length I want um, uh, flipping them around a bit um, to figure that out because you can kind of feel if something's too long because it, it just you can feel like I guess with the momentum it just feels off if they're too long and the same if it's too short so I've just been testing a lot of things and the nice thing is is this boss bead is holding very well I believe it's titanium so all of these beads are about nine millimeters and then the boss bead is 11.8 millimeters and if I'll show you comparison here so I have we'll see the full size Sigma Beglary here in titanium and these are the minis so a very very big difference in size and I don't think I'd want these <laughs> as a kind of a bracelet kind of a comboloid kind of thing um, in full size. I think some people have mentioned it before on the Discord but I think it'd just be crazy. I also bought the Mini Sigma um, Beglary. Um, I've taken two of the beads off you get three each side. Um, so these are stainless steel. I'll just show a comparison. So they're essentially the same, um, but yeah, just different weights. So speaking of weight, let's uh, weigh the set. So it's about 45 grams. And to me, it doesn't feel too heavy feels quite nice 
um, but I would say with the metal sets, the nice thing about the metal sets is you can get away with having smaller beads, which are kind of, I guess, a bit more pocketable, um, wearable as well. Um, so for example, I have a lot of sets from Greece because my parents go out there a lot um, and they're very kind, they always bring me some back. So I've, I've already shown these. So these are very big. Um, I tend to restring the Greek sets um, and change out any metal beads because usually they they use very cheap um, cast beads and they're not very nice. So this is a kind of white uh, black with kind of grey kind of swirly material in it. Um, so I've restrung those. Um, still haven't sized them. <laughs> uh, I kind of left these tails long. This is a similar set. Same kind of size beads, that's on glow cord. Got a different set here, so I took all the original metal beads out and replaced them with uh, my own stainless steel. Um, and they were okay. Very nice. So this has actually got two boss beads because this one d didn't cinch. I kept it on there just for a bit of a uh, nice bit of difference. A lot of people will have two boss beads. But obviously the, the stainless steel one does cinch. And I've got this green set here, again, replaced all the metal beads. Um, these very much remind me of uh, the commons um, that uh, a round square do. Um, it's a shame it didn't actually have more of the green on there, because I would have just happily had all green beads, but there weren't enough on there. I tried it. <laughs> Even with taking these out, um, it wasn't enough. Um, and so I'll show you what they look like when we get them from Greece. So this is basically what my parents just bought back for me. Uh, so you often find them in like tobacconists or like news agents and things like that. So this is actually another one of these sets. Um, but yeah, these these beads are quite horrible. Um, and yeah, this is uh, quite nasty too. <laughs> so, yeah, I've got to change these up because I'm going to be sending these out as uh, gifts. Um, I've got another set, like the, this green set. Uh, there, there wasn't another green set that my parents could find, so they got me blue. But again, so this is what the, the metal beads kind of look like. You know, they have sharp edges um, and things like that. You know, they're, they're cheap, though. They are so cheap. They're like a couple of euros each, so um, you're not breaking the bank. There's a dark blue set like these two. Um, yeah, so. And then these as well, which were on very, very thin cord. So I've got to do something with these. So these are actually quite sweet. But yeah, I've got two of these. So I've, I'm sending things out as gifts. But um, I don't really use them that much. Um, I think I wanted you know, mainly a metal one because I want it to be a wearable and, you know, I, I prefer the, how sleek the metal sets look and I prefer the weight as well, so, um, you know, if you sling Beglary, uh, key, you know, sometimes weight is kind of nice to have uh, rather than plastic. So, yeah, I've got to learn how to use these, but these are really lovely and I have to say like around square customer service is just the best and the community as well um, for around square products um, or school toys in general is the nicest community and most supportive community I've ever been in um, you know if you go on discord um, join the around square discord because you can find lots of tips on there people will do if you you know, if you ask nicely, people may make a video for you if you're struggling with a tip. There's a Big Larry Discord as well, so there's um, lots of videos on there that users post to help others out with tricks and things like that. And it's just awesome. It's really, really wholesome. I'll put it that way. And with Sling Slam going on, you know, there's some amazing people posting stuff. And I'm like, I almost didn't post something, even though I wanted to participate. I wanted to do it because it was fun and also I wanted to get, you know, 
code and stuff like that. Um, just the encouragement I got um, was just bloody amazing. Um, you know, it was just it just made it all the more fun. You know, didn't matter how good you were. Um, it, the idea was to participate and have fun, and so that everybody could share, you know, all their nice skill toys and things like that. Um, because it, you know, you didn't have to use an around square set. Um, there were different categories, but it could have been, you know, something made by another maker. I, I use my Mellow Block Baltos um, for mine. So, yeah, just great community, and around square are just fantastic. So. Um, not much more I can say on these at the moment. I've got a lot to learn. Um, I think, given my experience with my own sets, I can see why these are actually kind of so addictive. A lot of people prefer these to uh, Chocky and Beglary. Of course, it depends who you are and what your preference is, but I never really understood that. Um, I'm not sure if these are going to be more, you know, more likeable to me than, than Big Larry or, um, or Chucky, but uh, I can kind of see that the, the tactile nature of them is actually nicer than I thought it would be. Um, and by all means, make your own sets if you can, like out of you know whatever beads you can find, uh, stainless steel beads or whatever like that. But I have to say, you know, a bought set from a round square is well worth it. There are lots of different styles, sizes, shapes, weights, materials, just, yeah, worth having a look. Um, I think um, what I'm going to do as well when I restring is, so I've got a little Mokotai bead here and the lighting's not going to show very well. I've also got a little Zerk bead. These are both 12mm with a 3.5 bore. Um, I have got a Zerk bead on the way, so, uh, not Zerk bead, Zerkatai, so I may not use the Mokotai, but um, I kind of wanted to kind of match it up a little bit with my um, Titanium Chalky in kind of theme theme and style with those Zerkatai ac accents. So, yeah, um, if you have MK Ultras, uh, tell me what you think. Um, I know there are some Round Square tutorials. That I'm going to start making my way through and I will probably look more into the um, uh, Discord for more around, uh, not more around square stuff, more MK Ultra stuff because um, I haven't really in the past so that's, I'm quite excited so it's a new new rabbit hole to, to jump into so and more skills to learn, I love skill toys um, they are so satisfying when you start learning things so um, yeah when you start getting things down, like um, I've been learning to connect roles uh, with Big Larry, and I'm, I'm starting to get it now, and it's it's a really awesome feeling. I love it. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you think. If you're interested in uh, MK Ultras and stuff, tell me what you think as well. Are you going to get a set? Uh, what kind of set are you looking at? There's a lot of different sets on there. You've got the Nanos, you've got the Commons, you've got the uh, Milos, um, yeah, just absolutely loads to choose from. So let me know what your favourites are. And yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.